Get them high! How was your weekend? Good? Great! Let's chat a little, shall we? You guys, guess what? It's that time. It's Halloween! Yee! Okay, tomorrow Halloween month starts, but still, you know what that means? Well, some of you do anyway. For those that are new to this school, Halloween is celebrated all month long. So, starting tomorrow is our annual Halloween door decorating contest. Teachers, you should have gotten the paper to fill out for your third period class. Make sure to discuss it with your students and have it turned in by this Friday. Then next Monday, the door decorating begins. Remember, you must make the decorations yourselves. But, Principal McCann has decided on one thing. Spider webbing can be store pot. Considering it wouldn't be fair that a class would win that has a webbing on it that was made by actual spiders, so you can have fake spider webbing bought from a store. But that is it. Everything else must be made by hand. And no, once again, can't use real blood just because it is made by your bodies. Otherwise, you'll have some of our fledglings licking at the door. No religious symbols. Besides the fact that it might insult some of our students, teachers, faculty. Some of them actually work and would keep them out of the room. Unable to do the work they're supposed to do. And lastly, make sure that if you cover the entire door, that it doesn't block the window or is hard to open and close the door. Fire hazard, you know. Oh! Also, make sure that if anything is sticking out of the door, that it doesn't come three feet out from the door. Again, fire hazard and safety. That includes it popping out. Last year, we had one where a large snake would pop out and scare the students. But it also popped a few students too. So for safety reasons, make sure that it doesn't go past the three foot marker. Otherwise, have fun with it! Last day to finish decorating it will be next Friday. Then, judging will happen the following Monday, and results will be announced on that Friday. Hope you all have fun with it! Now, before I get into the rest of the fun stuff, I have to go over the normal announcements. So, the tryout sheets for the following competing teams will be posted tomorrow. Chess team, debate team, cheerleading, and dance team. Then next week, the sign-up sheets for the following clubs and activities will be posted. Drama, photography, newspaper, yearbook committee, art, French, Japanese, and student council, which no one talks about, for good reasons. Reasons I cannot discuss. And before I forget again, book club and anime manga club. So make sure to sign up before they get full too. Starting today, the rest of the students that need to make up credit will be able to sign up for the second chance program. Let me say it again, students that need to make up credit, not want extra credit, need credit. Can you tell I was getting questions like that during last week? So now you know. Now, onto the rest of the fun stuff. In three weeks is our Halloween week. What it means is that each day we do something a little fun and Halloween related. And on the Friday of that week, we have our Halloween dance, where we encourage our students to wear costumes. But as a reminder, no masks, no weapons, 
real or fake. Customs cannot block foot traffic in the halls or trip students. No wings out. Fake or real. But then again, if they were real, that would mean wing students were real. And we all know that they aren't. So, moving on. Nothing that breaks dress code. So, no, you can't come to school in fig leaves claiming to be Adam and Eve. Or naked and say it's your birthday suit. And wearing just cling wrap and claiming to be leftovers doesn't work either. And lastly, no, you can't wear your pajamas to school claiming that you're dressed as someone who just rolled out of bed for Halloween. The only way pajamas may work is if it's covered in blood. Then you can claim that you were an Elm Street teenager victim. That might be okay. Other than that, come on you guys. Keep this clean and be creative. Now don't worry. Of course I will be announcing what will be happening that week. A week beforehand. But in the meantime, our cooking class will be selling baked goodies all month to raise money for new mixers. Someone forgot you can't use a mixer to mix some potions, and one exploded. Fiery cupcake batter went everywhere. It was a mess. So please, help your fellow students bring in new ones. Also, next Thursday, we'll be doing a blood drive. No, not all of it is for the vamps. Most of it is going to be donated to the children's hospital so they can be stocked. And not worry about costs. Leaving them with being able to throw fun Halloween events for the children stuck there. I will remind you next week and let you know what time. It's at the gym, so I hope to see you there. So now it's time for the lost and found. Let's see. What's in the box? We have a sketchbook with... Aww! So many cute drawings. A old bottle of, well, it's either boba tea or something else. Ew. Anyway, let's see what else is in the, oh, another sketchbook. Oh, uh, I don't know if this was done on purpose or not. Uh, McAdam. Don't you dare tell me that it's something else from this. Admirer? Well, it's lovely sketches of you without work clothes. Uh, hand them over. Oh, 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 gods. Accurate? Creepily so. This is going to put your uncle over the edge. You mean it hasn't already? It has. I've managed to calm him down. Oh boy. Well, creepy principal stalker, you're in trouble. I suggest when confronted, plead for mercy. And that's it for the lost and found. Now for today's lunch menu. For the healthy, it's chicken faux soup. It's rice noodles with chicken, bamboo shoots, fish cake, and eggs. Not too bad. For vegan, it's vegan faux soup. Okay. And for our today's special, it's steak and beef faux soup. Beef and steak from purgatory cows and peppers from hell. Y yummy! It all sounds pretty good, actually. Then you have your basics. So let's end today's announcements for the thoughtful quote. Only he who attempts the absurd is capable of achieving the impossible. So if fighting dark monsters by daylight while working and coming home in time to make dinner for the family seems absurd, then congrats, cause somebody is capable of achieving that impossibility every day. Even if it's our own inner demons, we're really fighting. My name is Alexis Amelia Duvalo, and have a great week! Hey you guys, Cat McAdam here.
Hope you enjoyed today's announcements. If you did, hit that like button. Want to hear more? Want to hear book reviews or see live streams? Then hit that subscribe button. Want to learn more about Lexus? Want to see where it all started? Then you'll want to head over to my webcomic, Deadline. You can read it on the site itself or on my DeviantArt page. Want to see what goes beyond GMMH, reviews, and live streams? Can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and my two Facebook pages. All links will be in the description below. And want to know when these come out or when I do my live streams? Then hit that bell and make it ring because school is in session. Catch you later, students.